Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At the range now we've got the new Rock Island VR BP100. Bullpup 12 gauge shotgun. It is magazine fed. The overall length is 32 inches. Get a load of that. Has a 20 inch barrel, does come with three chokes, right? And flip up sights. A lot of rail space there. The stock is polymer, the upper receiver is aluminum, but it does have a rubber butt pad here with spacers so you can adjust the length of pull. It also has an adjustable cheek rise right there. I raised it just about a quarter of an inch. Thump safety, all right, very ergonomical. You know, when you, when you point, it, it feels, feels really nice. I've got the VR80 and I really like the way that shot, the way that uh, handled, it, it, it tamed the recoil very nicely. Comes with a five round magazine. The mag release is ambidextrous, both on the right and left side. And overall, a pretty nice package. I've got six rounds loaded up now. It's on safe. Let's go ahead and see how this thing fires. And there it is. First shot, right there. Pretty happy with the way that felt. Let's load it up again. The VRBP100 has an oversized charging handle on the left side of the gun. It's non-reciprocating, so you don't have to worry about it moving and, and taking your thumb off if your hand position is not perfect. It does have a rubber piece there. It makes it a little more comfortable when charging. The unloaded weight is 7.9 pounds. Loaded weight with the five round mag is 8.8 .8 pounds. So it, it's pretty light. Now I've got five shells here, seven and a half shot, high velocity Fiocchi. Let's see how well this does. Just took it off safety and here we go. Wow. And the bolt does lock open on the last shelf. One of the cool things that this and the VR80 offers is higher capacity magazines made by Advanced Tactical. I've got one of those now with nine shells. Let's see how it does. I've got a nine shell magazine loaded up with Fiocchi seven and a half shot, two and three quarter inch loads. I moved the camera this way so you can see how comfortable this is. Even though the magazine hangs down further, the hand just kind of wraps around and grips like that and it feels quite comfortable from this side you know it looks like that pretty nice let's see if we can get through all these nine shots see how it does you can also check out the recoil a little better from that perspective so let's go All right, had a failure to eject. There it is. All right, so one failure to eject. Other than that, I think it got through seven and then just fired off the last two. The receiver is aluminum. The forend is polymer. And it has a rail there for any other attachments you may want to use. There's the business end there. I think I mentioned it comes with three chokes. And then there's a close up on the grip. From this side, you can see that it does have quite a bit of rail space. Some cutouts there. Nice package, you know, for uh, everything that it offers, it makes for a pretty good home defense firearm. I've got five shells loaded up here. Let's go ahead and fire these off. See how it does. Same distance away, not too far. And there it is. You can see that the dust cover stays open as well. Very AR-ish controls. Everything from the, the magazine position on this bullpup anyways, to the safety position. Charger on the left side, as I mentioned. Not bad, pretty nice shotgun. And I'm happy with it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. 
and you guys be safe.